Uh, cooler than most. I was never eager to be hot. I was provoked. It's easy to be something that you not. Bitch was a joke. Counting my blessing instead of stressing the hoe. Inspired the shit I wrote. Now I'm a smoke. Uh, on test messages saying how she felt. But who cares? I'm more focused on how to get a meal. I keep it trail, never leave in my zone. Tell him leave me alone. I'm a loner. If it's not about money, don't pick my phone up. These slimy chicks is only good for taking care of bonus. Hubies, Hubies, Hubies. How don't you don't? You don't get that, do you? How do you do? How don't you don't? I used to say how do you don't, but that ain't but that ain't right because you got to do double do like you do double don't, or do double don't like you do double do, cause you do do. See how that works out? Life, just a cyclic nonsense, already. But Hilbies, Hilbies, we in effect, baby. Going strong. Podcast going strong. What's up? Uh, welcome back to Re Hubie. You gotta say the whole thing sometimes because you gotta understand what this is. This is this is a thing. Sometimes people are just discovering this thing. Okay, there are people listening to this podcast. I don't even know who those people are. I'll tell you that right there. But there are always numbers on the download, so there's people listening to this podcast. Which is which is both comforting and insane. So, welcome welcome back to Rehub. Or welcome for the first time to Rehub. That's the ridiculous human beings podcast, man. And I barely ever say ridiculous human beings because that's that's less of the name of the podcast and more just how I feel about the planet. So I'm fine saying Rehub because it doesn't matter. I still know that the human beings are ridiculous. Because that's what it is. That's what we're doing here. Just being ridiculous. Imagine. You see what I'm doing right now with technology and the internet? I'm saying stupid things to you on a podcast. That's how ridiculous we are. And that's just the, the, the consumer use of the internet is just evidence uh, that, that this world is just going to go to shit. Okay. Internet is probably the single greatest invention in human history. And we use it to uh, buy things and watch fight videos. Because we are hopeless, ladies and gentlemen. But we are also in the friendly nest. In the trust tree at the zoo. Because that's what life is, baby. That's what this world is. It's a giant goddamn zoo. All right. So we uh we got we got you know our reg- regularly scheduled programming and we added last last episode we actually added one more uh, and that is night night you want to go night night and that's uh us we're gonna be walking through uh, the uh, video stylings of the nights and uh, they have a new one up so we're gonna be watching that and I think it's I think it's um, dumb shit on there so. I think it might qualify for a good old roasting, like I like, like I like to do. I was promised that there will be people being themselves in vlog fashion uh, on the night's uh, video journey there, and I think this this second one that they put up is going to deliver, and you got to know, if you know me, if you know this podcast, uh, wherever there are people being themselves, I'll be there to perform and- a roast. Did you ask me how I feel? Oh, yeah. oh, pardon that. Because you know what we're going to get into right now. Our favorite segment, Highland High. You know, we start we start off strong at Ray QB, and we're going to start with our favorite segment, Highland High. And um, I did a quick scroll. I was doing a scroll through his junk. Pause. And um, I saw something stupid happen really quickly on, on this video, so... I decided that I'm that we're gonna watch this one. Uh, I didn't listen to it. I had it on mute uh, because I generally watch these things with you guys. Okay, generally, unless it can't be helped for whatever reason. But um, we're gonna listen to Highland High right now. He's gonna talk some trash about some junk, and uh, the video podcast. You're gonna have much more fun with this. 
because uh, I've seen some stupid thing happen in video fashion. So uh, we're going to crank this up, you know, and we're going to. Sorry about that. Technical death contest. Give me a second. How do you think I feel about it? Oh, come on, man. Technical difficulties. All right, I think we we in, we in the green zone right now. All right, Highland High, ladies and gents. I really feel like some of y'all be trying to bait me. Yes, because bait. you send me videos like this. Point masturbators pointed to his shoulder. Nothing and happened then you to ask his shoulder. Me how I feel? Well, give me a second. Uh -huh. How do you think I feel about it? And video video podcast. Me and my four brothers. Check them out. 10 plus so damn right. I don't between that. four. But Almost two a piece. As a black man in America serving in the United States military, I damn sure understand it. My service ain't above my skin color. <laughs> Weirdos. All right. All right. Okay, you're going to see that. You're going to see that on the video podcast, man. He did a thing, okay? He did a thing. Oh, my goodness. All right, first off, he said people trying to bait him. All right. And, I really feel like some of Oh man, I'm sorry guys. And um boy, you 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 can't just be saying bait out loud like that because and you, cause you always you got to have some kind of smooth to it because it's automatically going to go to masturbate and anybody anybody who's funny in their mind is automatically going to go to masturbate. All right, and that's where that went for sure. He said it's fan base is trying to bait him yes because they are masters at baiting how about that and uh he pointed over his shoulder when he said people said in him videos like that like i would think that maybe in his brain there was like a, a fucking 80s movie wipe you know from 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 one side of the screen to the other when that happened but that's not what happened on the video it just changed it just changed to another video so for all intents and purposes he should have pointed forward should have probably pointed forward no reason to point to that shoulder okay and then in order to change to his uniform he decided to do a little baby jump <laughs> La baby jump Yo, that's worse that was worse than um the old school adam west batman r.i.p adam west adam west batman if you don't know what that is you're, you're you're too young all right go drink a little baba little baby you're too young all right that or google it adam west batman that's back when they used to slide down the bat pole now creativity has come a long way because all batman really is is putting the word bat in front of things know that just his name by himself is batman he's a guy and they just put bat in front of it he's batman okay what does he have a cave the damn bat cave <laughs> of course that's what it is you know what's even funnier about that the actual caves that you find the actual creature bats in is never called a bat cave <laughs> people just understand it as a cave maybe the cave has a name and maybe it just has bats in it okay his car is the batmobile Okay, and when the Adam West Batman used to suit up, they used to slide down the bat pole. Come on, guy. Can't get no more creative than that. The bat pole. And you know what bat pole became? Stripper pole. And that, my friends, is a lesson in the... Uh, evolution of modern america wow um 
What was I saying? Yeah, slide down the bat pole. That was worse than the bat pole, man. Uh, he did a little baby jump in place and changed to, and changed to his uniform. Now he said to hold on before he did the little baby jump too, because it took every ounce of his strength, I'm sure, to perform that little baby jump. All good. Uh, podcasting right now. Probably don't want to come down. See, you say, you say things to people, and it's always one. Uh, always one. You know. So, so now she she's on the podcast. All right, and that's and that's how we get podcast guests here. And you know what's even funnier? I told Frog doing the podcast. Don't come over here. You you would think that maybe. He would make sure that other people don't come around either. But didn't do it. Didn't do it. All right. Didn't do it. And now that was another podcast guest. All right. When I have to tell them that I'm doing a podcast. Shout out to that. Because because you can't have nothing nice in this world. Not even goddamn podcast. What's even more amazing about that is that I'm not home. All day, you know, and I set up a podcast studio here so that when I'm here, I can do my podcast and people only want to come by when I'm podcasting. You got things you want to do? Do things when I'm not here. Okay. Uh, now I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, Highland and his little baby jump. That's what he's talking about. He did a little baby jump, put on his uniform, and then I guess he tried to talk real sassy to the camera. Uh, you could judge it for yourself. I wasn't convinced, man. And it's strange that we can understand that this man is part of the military. I, I, I believe every branch of the military is to some degree understood to be armed forces i mean they give this guy guns and um try to do a little sassy attitude speech and no go i wasn't convinced by it but this guy handles guns regularly and i don't know if i should be uh saddened by that or afraid because it's probably just a bunch of guys out that out there, you know, who can't even give a sassy, um, sassy camera speech, you know, out there handling guns. All right, well, shout out to him. You guys will see that on the video podcast. All right, and and we're gonna jump right into um, Ben and Tima, like we like. I don't know if Ben had anything solo on his page that solo joint he did last time was funny funny maybe he got a haircut and a shave maybe he did you know but that um that solo joint was funny but this is a Ben and Tima right here we're gonna we're gonna jump right into that let's see what we got here Ben acting up that's what we always got so many times in our relationship where I gave you that out and you took it Mm -hmm. And of course, I wasn't upset in the Mormon in that mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. But Mormon. the more and more I gave you the out, the more and more you took it. Of course. The more and more I might have felt as though you didn't really care about me. This guy, horrible. Indirectly blaming you. Mm-hmm. Or not blaming you, but resenting you. Like she doesn't never do what I want. She really doesn't care. Wildly self centered and course. manipulative um, and, and letting it out of his mouth and doesn't even know it. But I never really told you what I wanted. And I'm sure you could, the same thing could happen on your end yeah. as well if you could really sit down and reflect on that. Yeah. But here's oh, the really he's putting that. it on her Whenever too. I did tell it you can't be I just him. Oh, so the passive. first one is just coming out. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so mind you guys, like there was a trend. It's just like I'm always giving her a way yeah. out. I'm never making her commit to do X or Z or Y, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> But then when I find like X or Z or Y, really meaningful to me. This is something that I really I would get. Yo, this is insane. The stuff that he says. Can you do it for me? And you said no. (laughs) I'm like, what? Like I I never, 
Right? I never ask for anything. I never do anything. He's a like, damn I, I saint, this guy. And then finally, when I went my way, you Is say no. no? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah. And then I'm really pissed. Yeah. Right? And, yeah, and this the is thing. the best, like I'm saying, worst show ever. My way. Like, I never asked her to do it my way. Like, I always gave you a way out. I always made you choose. Yeah. Like, I was always. She, there. like, so now when I finally ruffling some you, snacks on the camera or something right? like that. What are you doing? Oh, she right? did. Ate some, because ate some damn snacks muscle, on the camera. What I want. She ain't worried about what he talking it's about. She ain't worried about responding either. It's really hard to come. Snack time. Go ahead, tell me what oh, he burped. He tried to cover it up. <laughs> Good. Good burp etiquette. So when you finally do tell me what you want directly, it's like you turn into like me. Like super really mean, like really mean. I'm like, I try super really mean. And she just do do? shut do it do? down. Oh, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Yeah, I don't want to be next to you right now. Yeah. Like, and, and that's the crazy thing. So it's the true extremes. Like I'm a totally different person now. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't even understand why you want this thing so badly. Mm-hmm. But if you just approach me a little bit nicer, perhaps. Mm-hmm. And, and the reason why I couldn't I don't even know how I feel about one, this in my head I'm like yo this is really this important. whole conversation I never get what I really ask for what I really want and now yeah, this yeah. is my way of showing you this is what I really want but when I do that turn I turn too aggressive so you and just you shut him do down yeah. wow it was just like I would blame you for that but it was 100% my fault yeah. Five percent your fault. Ten, not ten percent. Ooh, your fault. Oh, had to give us some of that. Like, no, I'll, I'll take full responsibility See? for that. Wow. 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 That was painful to listen to, for sure. Uh, because she was just about to thank him for taking responsibility for something. You know why? Because he never does. <laughs> he got to lend some of it to her. And I guess that comes with the territory if you're going to do this coaching thing or whatever. But um, I think there's also some merit to being able to see the couple's interaction as it is or as it's supposed to be you know how do they really interact with each other instead of all of this uh you know would-be analytical nonsense that we get uh most often from more ben than tima uh but wow that was a weird that's a weird exchange to know that when he asked for something he gets aggressive for one. Now, I feel like I could understand that behavior, but I don't feel like I exhibit that behavior. Like when I really want something, want a favor, I don't become meaner. I never, I can't justify that. I, I can't, I'm, well, and, and, well, let me not say never. Maybe I have. I don't know. But why do I feel like I'm comfortable or understanding of that behavior? But I, I don't feel like I actually commit to it. That's a strange dynamic. And then for uh, you to be noticeably out of character to the woman. And then she just fully dismisses it. That's nuts too. It's two nutballs these two. You know when I was hearing that just now. That was the first time I was really just like what's wrong with y'all. <laughs> the hell is wrong with y'all seems like each of them are just trying to get their way you got to notice clip after clip time after time week after week we see or hear a lot of conversation about what happens when one asks the other to do a thing and that seems like the source of a lot of the misgivings in their relationships and i'm trying to and i'm trying to think back to whether or not that's really been the thing for me because of course i mean things boil down to what happens when you ask somebody to do something i guess i guess it all boils down to that for sure but it's just never been plainly that you know 
you didn't do this thing when I asked you to. I don't think that's ever really been it. I think there's just been a sequence of events and and reactions, you know, a thing actually happening. Then something got said and maybe something did or didn't get done like a like real life events unfolding is what happens on my side. I think. I think so far as I can remember, but um, studies show that uh, men have a tendency to remember only the better parts or what they understand to be the better parts of relationship and reminisce on them fondly more so than women do. Okay, that's because when it's over, it's just over for the guy, you know. And, you know, in actuality, you know, even when they get back together, it's not the same thing. It's it's a it's a new thing really to a guy in his brain. So once it's really over, he's just ready for it to be memories. And I'm saying he like I'm not a guy. Yeah, we're just ready for it to be memories. You know why? Because we will discuss failed relationships for the rest of our lives, guys. It's almost like a badge of honor to have failed relationships. We just discuss them. We just bring them up. Not even wanting them or not even uh, wanting to have done things differently or better or however you might say. We just recount the sequence of events. And most often, we laugh hard. Hard. At our own stupidity. And that's why guys stay friends. Okay. I've, I've spoken about women I, I never got or used to have more than I've ever spoken about a woman, you know, to my guys uh, that I currently have. <laughs> you know? Weirdo. But that's what we do. We like to tell the war stories. That's what we do. We fight in the war and we tell the war stories. You know, there there aren't enough stories in a war that you're currently winning, you know. The loss just has so much more weight in the storytelling. See, now I'm picking up some stories I could go tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm not big on the storytelling. You got to wait, like, years to get some stories out of me. Ask, ask, ask anybody. You know, who knows me? All good. So that was it. That was Ben Backwards, man. Ben Backwards and featuring Tima. Like I like. Like it like to be. And that was nice and weird. So now let's see if we can get cracking into um, Cancel Carson. You know, everybody's favorite. Uh... Where we at with it right now? She got a lot of episodes, man. A lot of days. That's why she ain't doing them right now. She done blew, blew herself to bits on podcasting. Hurry up and get back to it. I want to give you some of that recent smoke. You know, you follow her on Twitter. I don't really know what it is, but I'm sure you can find it from some earlier episodes or whatever. She be writing all the inspirational and God shit, man can't be real i don't understand in this life how people still sop that bullshit up you know and um i guess it's just gonna be what it is like we, we constantly chasing this life that's imaginary fully imaginary you know where people say inspirational things and and they have and they don't have like skeletons in the closet you know what i'm saying you know, like I don't take inspirational shit from anybody who has children. You feel me? Because you be fucking straight like that. Now, maybe I don't understand what fucking is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's a fucking wholesome inspirational version of that that they partaking in that excuses them 
you know, from joining the rest of us in universal chaos. But but you can't be telling me which God is with me and um, when I need to be. Um, I don't even know what's the what's a phrase right now you could you can you can damn use. Uh, I don't know when I need to be the bigger person or how I need to let go of the hurt or whatever the hell, you know, people like to say. And you like smacking ass like you a guy you smacking ass. Like you putting the beats on the broad and you talking to me about. What again? You know, like you are you are you in you in the raunchy, you know what I'm saying? On the same wave as everybody else. You in the dirt, bro. What is it that you trying to say to me? I don't know, you buying rubbers? You buying rubbers? And you're gonna tell me what? The sun will come out tomorrow? Bro, you grown like I'm grown. You got you you doing you doing savage shit. What is it you're telling me? Anyway, um What was I saying? Yeah, we get into can- cancel Carson. Uh and and look, it says black men and mental health. Sounds like spiritually, um, spiritually, um, on a spiritual level, um, energy, energy. That's what it sounds like the title. All right. So, as usual, ear bleed warning. All right. These ladies, they get real squealy, screechy when they get excited, man. Your ears, you know, your eardrums might just bust wide open. So, as usual, I'm just going to we're gonna run the podcast. We're going to slap it in the middle of the podcast and see what the hell we got going on there. She got a whole, um, a whole, uh, summary of the podcast or something written on this thing and the hell with that the hell with that to hell with that i think it's to hell with that and it, and it turned into the hell with that because people thought it was done but it's two um all right so let's get this moving let's just get this going like we talked about you know what i'm saying just uh stop crying or this is how you need to be. This is the man, you know, uh, you can't do this. You can't do right. that. Uh, it, it's be a man. Where's that? Where's that? Make money. You know what I'm saying? All these standards yeah, are yeah, you, that you, are you, you, you can't. Yes. This is what the women yeah, think, you can't, man. you can't express your feelings. That's for a woman to, uh, that's for a woman to do. Like, mm-hmm. who says, like, Absolutely who made true. that up? When did that become a rule? That's, 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 that's men, crazy. Men I'm made sorry. That, that kind of gets me upset. But did I ask you a question? Yeah. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Um, And for me, um, and this is another question too. Ain't gonna just, catch me I will, crying, and before man. I get to that, just to piggyback off of what you're saying, um, people don't care about other people, right? In a sense, Absolutely and we don't. tend to be very self-absorbed and very selfish. Um, and so with that said, I want to, as a black woman, be the very best I can for my brother, my mm-hmm. father, uh, my significant other. Do you? Um, and so I'm constantly asking, and I think this is something for our female listeners. Um, are women of color or women who are, are dating men of color, right? Is that right? Um, I feel like black men and women are the most um, unprotected, un... We're the only here we, flower here we go. on the earth that grows unwatered. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, we, are not, that we are not means. protected. We are not, we are not cared deep. for. And so we have to do our best to do it ourselves and, mm-hmm. and care for each other. And so that, like you said, to piggyback off that, we have to care about one another. And so because I want to be the best for all my, my brothers and sisters... Are you okay? Saying the right? words. What, is oh. there anything I can do to help Saying you? Saying the phrase. Right, asking these mm-hmm. questions. Do you feel free? Do you feel happy? Um, and not happy in the sense of like, um, oh, I have a lot of money in my pocket. Or I dare a woman I to ask me if I feel and, free. You know, I have shoes on my feet. Yes, great. Those are all some great things. We no, all need those things. I feel like you got to pay. inside, are you happy? Are you healthy? Um, I had a friend in mentally college. I was inside. telling you guys about... Um, that I, my skull um, open. I when I worked in the mall at Charleston Southern, like uh, I worked in the mall and he was right across the hall. We'd go get lunch together, we'd you know, sit on our breaks together, talk. I'd go into his store and chat, he'd come into my store and chat. Mm-hmm. I think we hung out maybe uh, one weekend, you know, one or two weekends since I since I'd known him. 
I graduated in May of 2014. Um, right. and then moved Bi- to Atlanta. Biography. In October uh, 29th of 2014, he committed suicide. Is it wow. okay? He, um, he was a couple years younger than me. He took a gun to his head and killed himself. Oof. And so when I heard that he had died, for me, I was so shocked because this man... Went left. This young man was beautiful, mm-hmm. a handsome young man, and was always just super vibrant. Still couldn't get no play. Had a great that's time. how. That's you know, how we talk on the phone. We hang out. Go get our lunch break. Like, oh, you good? What's right. up? Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. blah. Carson, come to this party. You know, whatever. Um, great young guy, smart, like mm-hmm. just really cool but, person. But and I never but. recognized a sign that you know he was dealing with schizophrenia, mm-hmm. that he was bipolar. Like I, and all these things came out after he had killed himself, right. and I was like what the fuck like right. what could i have possibly done mm-hmm. i kept thinking to myself like what could i have done what could i have said when Nothing. i was on the phone with him or when i was hanging out with mm-hmm. him when we were on our lunch break in the mall that would have helped him in a way that maybe he would at least thought twice like he right. would have said you know what there is hope there is mm-hmm. light at the end of this tunnel well what did you um, like so him or not? i guess that's my biggest thing and my mm-hmm. question to you all and to See, you Bash, all of those all of those compliments and she didn't even um, say if she liked him or out. not well, she was interested. Well, in uh, there's like three things that kind of. I'm going to let this guy rock out and see what, see what we got uh, here. I want to go in depth with uh, patience being number one. Um, it's not always easy for a man to, you know, break his whole life down to you and things like that. Um, some people have trust issues like I'm still working with now. So I really don't uh, give uh, give someone the benefit of the doubt of knowing me like like the like just knowing me fully so mm-hmm. um you gotta have patience with us men good good and starting also, point it kind of ties in with you with you women as well like we have you gotta have patience for uh you ladies as well like picture this Making like uh, on point. the first date like what are y'all talking about are, are, are we talking about mental health or are we talking about what did you bring nah, to the table it'll be you weird know? that the, the table like joint to, they get crazy with the around, table joint uh, and not only for the first date let's talk about mm-hmm. those dates that you guys go on when you actually are in a relationship. Are you guys talking about mental health or are you talking about um, what you're going to do when we get home? And it's, stuff like right, that. Like, exactly. oh, when I get you home, you know what I'm saying? Like, we we, we thinking about sex and we thinking about other things like that. It's okay. I get that. Be nasty with your girlfriend because that's what, you know, that's what you're going to do. Ah, this dog. Yeah. That's what I want to do, baby. When you get home, What's you know what I'm saying? We can do all that. But first thing, first thing, I don't Can't say the sunshine you shit. You live, right. trust me. Mm-hmm. You live on the planet um, Earth. I've experienced it. Well, I, I want you. Okay, he dragging it. Go ahead, go ahead, No, go no, ahead, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, no, I was saying okay. just the same. I, I'm, I'm going to make it quick. Oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to make it quick. I'm going to make it quick. Come on. Like, I experienced it, yeah. I experienced it firsthand. Like, uh, uh, I, I, I asked this one, right, you know, getting boring how now. are you? Like, what, what, what do you think about every day? Like, what, what, what drives you? What's your passion? Mm-hmm. All right, what's Man, when I tell you she told me she got wet because of that, like, that's where the real love comes in. Absolutely. When you actually that's care about it. All right, we had enough of that right there, guy. Okay, he was going somewhere at first, and it got it got kind of weird around the end. All right, all right, okay, because you said your sunshine sun, sunshine shit, and then um, you said the woman got wet because that's where that's where it all ends up. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal. All right. Uh, say what you want say what you want and we don't like to um acknowledge it you know but that is it you you understand what i'm saying that's the fucking goal uh and that was cancel carson if you got anything out of that motherfucking kudos to you uh you can't buy shit with no kudos tell you that much all right let's get live we're gonna swing over to the nights, night night. All right, and they got a little thing. I ain't, I ain't, uh, I ain't seen it. So let's see if we can get it to pop I got the out. Hennessy. All right, all right. It's about I got 11, the about eleven minutes of this. You heard right there. Okay, I feel like I need to give an ear bleed warning for uh, Sierra. That's the lady, of course, and Meech is the guy. Might need to give an ear bleed warning for her. She could she could get powered up as well. So uh this is this is apparently Q and A plus more. All right, what the more could be? Don't know. But what I imagine is they're gonna say some things, they're gonna laugh about some things, and we're gonna learn some things about Grin One. 
All right. Got to get that in your brain from the last episode. That's what this is. Let's explain one more time because we don't know the nights like that at ReHub. So this is night night. This is a new segment that I got here. Uh, You know, I, I want to say two good friends of mine, but I don't even know if that's right. I just kind of like them a little more than than I like most people. So uh, these are the nights. And they recently had a child, and the child was afflicted with GRIN1, a developmental disorder. Uh, and this is why they're vlogging their lifetime, you know, their, 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 their lifestyle, their quality of life uh, among their many achievements and the birth of their son. So let's see what the hell we got here. Now, I don't know either of them to be showman or show woman women i don't know and um that's the best part of this okay because something stupid's gonna happen uh, let's go i gotta say here to see you say here to meet you again we're doing all that again most of you didn't even is <laughs> dabbing is we not dabbing yeah that dab was trash on that last video they're doing a gang handshake, okay? <laughs> they are a gang affiliated. <laughs> but we can say that though. Okay, you guys, the, the next one is back with another video. The Night Squad. Oh, he did like a plump this time. <laughs> <laughs> he just have to hey do guys, a thing. <laughs> hey, you guys, we're back with another two video with the night. Oh, so they both did it. To Ew! Do a quick video on the that we have. Every all, time I see them, I'm doing that thank now. You, thank you for all the love, the shares, the support that we have gotten the last two weeks. The last two weeks. After pretty much telling the world about Drayson, we um have been... I'm speechless. For what oh, we have you. so far. Um, Speechless, so you just don't know what to say. Video. It's been a long, long, long journey. And um, I think the next day after the video, I told a few people that I was really, I felt light waking up the next morning. It was like, kind of like a burden was lifted off our shoulders. We told the world everything that we were going through. We decided to be super transparent and let you guys in on our journey. And I feel oh, good about it. Yeah. Do you? We have been for so long, you know, holding in such a big uh, secret can be tough with us holding it in so long we just felt like it was time making it to sound like pp in the party we shared it um with you guys it just a lot of weight off our shoulders um as far as you know what we've been going through the past 10 to 12 months uh with drayson so uh we're just very appreciative of the support everybody like tuning into the video just to see you know what's going on with us mm -hmm. what's been going on it's um, kind of what we're doing, doing but not so, quite yeah. So we're gonna jump right into it. Top five questions that I we thought you gotten, already did. And we may jump, not have said it good enough in the video. It. So the first question was: Top Will Jason ever walk or talk? Five. We, as parents, as doctors, have said to us, they cannot tell us that. Um, we don't know if Jason may walk or talk. Is he walking or talking now? No. Will he walk or talk in another two or three years? The world never knows. So we the are literally having to knows, live eh? this day by day. Um, again, Drayson is in therapy twice a week, soon to be three times a week. So we are just praying and hoping for the best. Yeah, pretty much. And it, it was told to us that it's a good chance that he will probably never walk or talk. We're just, with us catching it so early, we're just trying to figure out how to maybe assist with beating um, that part of it in uh, hopes that he will be able to overcome those things and be able to eventually maybe walk and um, talk and stuff like that. So, so stay tuned for that. You'll find oh, out. I'll you let you guys know. know. Second question is Drayson cross-eyed. Drayson is not cross-eyed, ladies and gentlemen. He can see. Wow. Um, people people <laughs> ask to that. He cross his eyes when he's trying to focus on something. What we found out is kids with grin one, they normally have something that's called CVI. What that stands for is cortical vision impairment. He has been tested twice for it already. So far, so good. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have any vision problems. But again, when he tries People to People wow with that the questions, bro. Drayson more than likely. Those some real YouTube comments glasses. questions. Mom is blind. 
dad is blind. Don't let them contact me, y'all. He wear glasses just like me. Blowing them up. Well, I wear my contacts. Blowing them up. So the them next up. one was That's what a wife is for. Kids, will they have Grin One? Wanna answer that? Uh so as far as we know, how could you, um, how could you know it's that? a one percent chance um that it happened again if we decide to have uh kids again. Um so that's a good thing. because uh, that's something as soon as we kind of found out the diagnosis was one of the top things that we were worried about. Mm -hmm. um, but understandably so. Definitely a 1% chance. So. But just throwing that out there, we not have it no more. We only wanted one. Allegedly. Right? Yeah. He got some second guessing because he, he possibly want another one. Allegedly. But I thought the mommy factory was closed. We're so looking yeah, real nervous on this video <laughs> right now. Yeah, <laughs> not uh, for now. Got, well, is there a life expectancy with Drayson's diagnosis? No, people. Wow. So we've asked this pediatrician, Questions. Wow. We know a few people so in their real child's YouTube comments questions. Up in, I think, 27, 30. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we asked that question when we first got the diagnosis. They did see that there isn't a life expectancy compared to, you know, other disabilities that people may have. I think, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it. I think like cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, there's like a life expectancy to a certain extent. But Grin 1 kids, adults, they don't have a life expectancy. So we're not worrying about that now. Um, and the they last question, written down. which we said in the video top as well, five, top five, top five. how did we find out about the Grin 1 diagnosis? She had to jab you so that they said it in the video was, already. Um, because we went to see a lot of what a like wife. the first video. Um, and a lot of the doctors just didn't know much about it. Um, we didn't know either. So what was brought to our attention was doing a genetics test. Mm -hmm. um, and that's to mainly Husband, see zero if, jabs. Uh, zero Grin jabs on video. Come from us, our side of the family. My side of the family. Wife, 1,000 jabs. Um, so, yeah, we got a genetics test done, uh, which came back and let us know for sure um, that it was Grin 1 um, that he was diagnosed with. So, so yeah. Those were the top five questions. Top five, top five, to top five, top five, top five, top five. Because they were the most important. Top five, top five. Um, top five. And if you have any more, feel free to you know leave them in the comment section. Um, if we don't answer them in the video, we'll definitely um, answer them on one of our social medias. Uh, like I said, we just appreciate you know everybody. I might um, ask a question and tell them to answer it in the video. About you know um, Grand One and and everything that comes with it. So definitely, we, so we keep that. keep sharing the video because I've received inboxes from people who did not even know us. Um, they didn't know me or me. Somehow they seen it through a share, 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 and share. And oh, I've all of those. Quite a few Grand One moms. All of those video being reposted. So that actually works. Share, um, share, I think share, the next thing share. we want to do is shout out some people. Um, we actually received some fan mail from a few people. Fan I mail. I made this statement in a post. And this young lady, Shaniva Goodhigh, thank you. Good um, high. She decided to make a t-shirt. That's and your name, the girl. the t-shirt says, I'm a Grin One mommy sharing my son's story. And the vet says, Hashtag Drayson. There we go. So below in the comment section, you will find her IG name, which is his Mrs. Goodhigh. That's a lot. And that's her Instagram page. That's a lot. And then her Facebook again is Shaniva Goodhigh. I will post that. Goodhigh. And next we got. I'm not going to ask how that happened. From his Auntie Kwana. Um, Auntie Kwana, of course, this. there's um, an Auntie Kwana. I'm still grinning. Hashtag, <laughs> that's one of the hashtags we have for Drayson. What's hashtag mania. Rare kiddo Drayson, another favorite hashtag we've used. And this one says. Probably used them all once. Hello, world. I'm Drayson. And our favorite one. We got a little cover for him, um, and it's got his. First name, middle name, Drayson Mateo. Um, and one of our top hashtags is still grinning. So we really appreciate, um, you know, receiving these gifts for uh, Drayson. Um, and then we also I should get him a uh, gift got a too. book bag too. And with the book bag, just had his name on it. Uh, but again, we appreciate everybody, um, you know, just expressing their concerns. Got some gifts, flies in here, man. Um, you know, we really appreciate that. Um, 
so much. So, uh, so I'm gonna run up on note, one of those we don't things. Want you guys to think that all of these videos coming to you are gonna just be about Dreesen and his diagnosis. There you we go. I just want to let the world know what this Cut, catch this roast. Please tell us. Um, and it's uh kind of a way for us to kind of get out of our comfort zone too a little bit um you know Is we got it? a lot of friends and family college what friends. another dab because y'all know on facebook i'm super transparent we I'm don't know healthy. we don't know super anything late. so i guess <laughs> i guess for me then um it's just to show See? a different jabs. side of me jabs jabs uh, jabs because i've always been all on the wife's side laid back uh quiet type so don't let don't let that facebook and i see them in person for you oh you know, it's pure so jabbing you're not with this, <laughs> you can't get away so with this youtube channel we just you want can't to get away but kind of bring people into our world uh, marriage no know the risk before Traveling, you take the job which we'll be Traveling. doing a lot of Dresden is going to get a passport soon because next year is he hopefully if covid clear up we out. Yeah, we, all this house stuff is for the birds. We kind of sitting here. Yeah, we love traveling. So you can tell who's doing to, all the uh, thinking. Kind of venture out with Drayson and let him see the world and uh, bring you guys along with us to see, you know, how how. I ain't going nowhere. So, um, yeah, with this channel, we just we just want to show kind of a, a little piece of our life, um, and the nights. So as us, we definitely gonna be back with. A bunch of different videos. We're gonna try to post uh, a upload. bunch of different videos. Maybe a couple times Sounds a good to me. Our goal. Uh, That's a so, lot. You know, we would love to continue support. Like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, post notifications. Hit that as well, um, because we're gonna try to post as much as possible. Um, and just look out for the next video. Oh, thank you for <laughs> telling us what to do. Freya, and now I'm not pregnant. Everybody, <laughs> are you pregnant again? No. And we out. All right, we had enough of that. Thank you to the knights. A night night. That was like partly informative, partly gloriously uh, self-centered. And uh, we're just going to keep up with that, man. You know, speaking of, they said the house shit is for the birds. Something like that, man. Full Drago weekend. One after the other. That's what we're doing, baby. That's what we're doing, baby. And let me tell you, it's boring. Um, I did the whole wave everybody keep talking about with the outside dining. Now, let me just say on base level, uh, me and my people's just got a certain kind of smooth to us. We go somewhere, we're going to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Because between us, we're just having a good fucking time. All right. So that's a given. What's not a given is what's actually happen at, happening at the venue. You know, so we go to the to a spot. It's a lounge. You know what I'm saying? And um, they just set up the whole sidewalk. Basically, they lit the whole sidewalk up with the outside seating, you know, which a lot of a lot of places did. But um, the the whole situation is really trash. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. You could you could tell that this whole outside seating arrangement was was cooked up by the fucking government and all the people who's doing cutesy shit because they had the lounge, uh, and it was out there cooking with. And it was playing, um, not actually cooking food, but, you know, it was moving. And it was playing some good music, man. Like, they was playing some, I don't know if you know what's going on in Brooklyn hip-hop right now, but it got Brooklyn drill moving. You could get cuzzed up, get crazy, you know what I'm saying? Dance floor type, type shit. And um, it was trash because you can't you can't do nothing. Like, everybody's get, sitting at a table and you're eating and drinking or smoking some hookah, whatever you're doing, and you just... It's like everybody's in a VIP and, and nobody's at the party. You know, like there's nothing really going on. It's like, it's like you put your living room on the curb. You know, so it feels like you just defeated the purpose of being outside. Like, because you, you, you really just inside outside like it's not even a party you can't even really have a party shout out to steinway though they was getting busy i was out there for a little second to Miami. you know that was a party but then the governor and the mayor and them came try to swat that because that's where all the fun was at carelessness and recklessness these are the ingredients of big fun all right and you can't really be that on this COVID, and I should have, I should have thought of that, you know, so what this COVID is really good for is just dates, really, you're just gonna have to go on extensive dates, 
You feel me? That's just what it's going to be. Uh, and if you see my face and I look sad when I'm saying that, then, you know, there's some merit to that because I want to go have parties and dance, you know, and that's just not going to be a thing for a long time. Seems like, you know, unless you just go really full Drago. See, that's, see, we're not going full stupid. All right. We go full Drago, but we're not going full stupid because, you know, Part of you wants to be the fucking lockdown champion and just, you know, go overboard with the rules and such or with the understanding of, of being inside. Uh, but the other part of you wants to see the city for what it is right now. Like it's in a, a rare form. It's in a unique state right now. And to see it and be a part of it is also a thing. Uh, so a lot of people like to condemn the people who's outside right now, you know, who's trying to, you know, get get somewhat, you know, a, a sense of normalcy moving. But these are the people who's going to be moving the understanding of every city uh, in some direction. You know, if they fucking drop dead, then we learned that. And you're going to be saying that they shouldn't have done it or doesn't wasn't worth it or whatever. But who's who's to say, you know, what 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 that worth really is? Because then you learn something. Because if they do all this stuff and they don't drop dead, yeah, you learn something else. You know, and then the things move in another direction. That's and it's it's just gonna be that Monday morning quarterback wave. Like, if if it works, people are gonna fuck with you. If it don't work, the people are gonna tell you you stupid. You know, there's nothing there's nothing you can really do about that. You know, because I mean, it was kind of weird because I pulled up. I, you know, we pulled up to the spot and uh, it was shorties out for sure. You know, but for one, you don't want to be huddling, huddling and hovering around them because you never really wanted to be doing that. But sometimes you get a little close. You can't. You don't even want to do that now because everybody's fucking, you know, masked up. You got to treat everybody like they fuck and the, the, the damn outbreak monkey. Uh, So it's weird to even, you know, be, be talking to people. It's weird. And um, on top of that, for the most part, you see in half of people's faces. Now, funny to me that even with that, it's still some people who's trying, you know, trying to get the scoop moving. Even I be thinking about the scoop on some of the joints, and I have to remind myself, like I've seen half of this woman's face. And you could, you could say, nah, you could tell from half a face. Um. You never, you never, you never seen a shorty who you was thinking about running in, you know, and she opened her mouth and her grill was crazy, son, or you just knew a uh, chick who, who, it wasn't even a surprise like that, her grill is just crazy as is, and you know she's pretty or whatever, but grill's just crazy as is, and you just be like, damn, if a grill wasn't like that, it'd be a go. That's what you could be possibly just be running into over and over, uh, on this COVID mask wave. And you're probably thinking. Well, that's wildly superficial. But no. That's where your brain is going. Because sometimes. The grill issue is with hygiene man. What color is your teeth? What you got between there? Like what's going on with you? You know. 2020. We know what teeth supposed to look like man. You know what I'm saying? Your mouth. Your lips. The, the damn. The crack, the crack of your lip on the, uh, the edge there. What you got there? What's that? You know? Nah. We ain't trying to play around with all of that. You know? Especially not on a COVID wave. Because you got to be especially sanitary when there's disease going around. Now, um, if, it's, if it's a pandemic and you, and, and you look like you don't know how to brush your teeth... I feel like you spread you spread the disease more. You feel me? Or you you add in extras. You feel me? Cause motherfuckers gonna get coronavirus and gingivitis. Okay, like you didn't even you didn't need no one of those, and you and you definitely don't need them together. 
you know, I think I was reading an article that was saying surprise, you know, COVID-19 surprised your breath. You know, people are out here stinking they self to death uh, with the mask on, which is another thing that's insane. That's probably why another people, a lot of people don't want to wear the mask, too, because they breath stink. They, they got the mask on stinking they self out. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that the mask is the problem. No, your mouth nasty. Come on, man. 2020 brush your teeth brush your teeth you feel me you 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 say you smart you got a bachelor's degree brush your teeth you know how to use a smartphone you sit out in front of a computer brush your teeth you kidding me you know how to get dressed you know head to toe Drive a car. Brush your teeth. I feel like all that stuff is more complex than brushing your teeth. Brush your teeth. You feel me? I just can't. I can't understand it. I feel like that's bad parenting on that. You know, on their parents' part. You know, and you just doom your your offspring too because you can't have your teeth all jacked and then trying to teach your kid to brush their teeth and they be like, but mommy, but daddy, your teeth is whipped. What you gonna say? What you really gonna say? Nothing. Nothing. So brush your teeth. Tweak. Podcast, audio podcast on Monday. Video podcast on Wednesday. That's on Facebook and on YouTube. Shout out to the Twitter. Look, B on everything. R I H U B E. And and we got such a unique name that we created a unique presence on the internet. If you Google Rehub, <coughs> pardon, Google Rehub, you're gonna find everything. You're gonna find all the things. The page is gonna be full up with Rehub because that was. Apparently, a unique moniker, okay, for the world. So we got that. Shout out to everybody. You know, which is really nobody because I thought of it. And I'm not going to shout myself out. So, <laughs> taste what taste. All right, Gov. Taste what taste. That was kind of a Australian accent. You know, saying British things. And you probably thought that I was going to correct that, but I won't. You know why? From America. I ain't Australian and I ain't British. From America. Right? Don't need to get things right. Because I'm sure, as far as the world is concerned, it's just a country full of stupids over here. Why not? And if they tune into this podcast, only going to be proving them right. And I'm okay with it. All right? Because they're not going to come over here and fight me. And that's real talk. Uh, And I need to be chopping out some more shorts because I'm on this podcast and I'm just saying stupid things. And you got to know what that is. I'm not a comedian. All right? Does the Facebook page say comedian? Sure. Sure. Sure it does. You know, but there's just not another word for me and what I'm doing here. I'm saying things and it's being funny, and um, uh, but it's not really comedy. I'm not telling jokes per se, and um, and I'm not doing any stand up. You know, I don't have any comedy chops, and I don't ever plan to get them. So what is it that I am? You can say entertainer, but if if I say entertainer, and somebody says what kind of entertainer, and I'm like, you know, the kind. Makes people laugh They say comedian And then I say no Gonna just look like a stupid A full stupid Okay so I have to Instead infringe on comedian territory And say that I'm a comedian But I'm not a comedian I'm not a comedian I'm not a Okay, and just know that I have explained that. Because one day this is going to become a problem. 
this is gonna become a problem uh, unless I talk my way out of it which I can spin up some words you know but that depends yeah, if I spin enough the words before or after, I already have a problem. You know, but, but until that time comes, fuck yeah.